Dr. Bruce Korf is here now, the Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Human Genetics. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Talk a little bit about the webinars that you're doing with ASHG. Well, during this past year or so, we've um, begun a series of webinars. The purpose really is to educate members of the society, people in general, I guess, about um, areas of genetics and genomics that are sort of on the cutting edge. Um, the journal especially is interested in broadening the kind of scope of papers that are submitted to the journal, and this is one way for us to identify areas that we believe are sort of up and coming and really important and trying to signal the community that we're interested in things like um, papers on polygenic risk scores and population genomics, um, CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing. These are the things that have been the subject or will be the subject of webinars and part of the message is uh, we're really open to seeing papers submitted on these really critical new areas of research. So how do you encourage people to submit their research if they think, oh, it's not really big enough, it's not really important enough? You're, tip you're covering all topics. Right, so one of the things that we've done in this past year is take a look at the, the kind of historical kinds of papers that have been submitted to the journal and compared that with the papers that are submitted to the society meeting. And, and frankly, we see a, a discrepancy that um, there are some areas that are covered very well at this meeting that are less well covered in the journal, and probably that's historical. And people get a, a sense of what we're likely to publish based on what we have published, and you end up with kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy that way. Uh, we're very eager to reflect the research interests of members of the American Society of Human Genetics and to encourage, we're not trying to discourage things that have been submitted, we'd like to grow the pie and to tell people we're interested in genomic medicine, we're interested in genome editing, we're interested in therapeutics, uh, we're interested in social, ethical, and legal issues. So we would very much like to telegraph to the community that um, don't assume that what we had been publishing is reflective of what we continue to wish to publish. So. I feel like that broad scope is going to be so educational, people are definitely going to want to tune in, so let's tell them how they can do that. Well, so the webinars are announced to members of the society through emails, but you can always go on to either the ASHG website or the American Journal of Human Genetics website, and you can register for these. They're free, open to anybody that wants to participate. Uh, you can watch them in real time, and if you do, you can ask questions to the speakers um, through this electronic means, or they're archived and you can watch them anytime. Um, obviously, you can't ask questions that way, but um, it's still a way to get um, really up to speed on this new content. It's wonderful because when people come to this meeting, they say, it's such a great way to connect, it's such a great way to collaborate. This is an extension of that. That's right, This is it's, a, it's another kind of a means of I guess you can say social networking in a way because you can be hearing these things, you can be tweeting about them, you know, you can be um, generating all sorts of conversations based on exciting work that's being described in the webinar. All right, Dr. Korf, thank you so much. Thank you.